Your waiter will be here shortly. You look beautiful this evening. The way the candlelight catches your eyes reminds me of... parrots after the wart gargling with a thousand limes. What? Oh, I heard it in a movie once, but uh, I don't think I got it right. <laughs> Let's open our menu, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. Gee, everything looks so darn good. I don't know what to have. What will you be having? I don't know. Maybe I'll start with the escargot. Escargot. Go. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't know it was in season. Snails are always in season. Snails. Oh, of course. Oh, I know about snails. We've got plenty of them in our front yard. You've had escargot before, haven't you, Mr. Poindexter? Of course. Of course. I ate a handful of worms once, too, on a bet. Won five bucks. Oh, when was that? Oh, last summer. Last summer? I mean, last summer, 20 years ago. <laughs> Is Madame ready? Yes, I'll have the Chateau Briand with the Marchand de Vin. And for the gentleman. Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do you have that's good? We have an exceptional Moreau à la Provençale that's excellent this evening. Darn. I had that for lunch. If you want to know the truth, I'm tired of all this rich foreign food. How about just digging me up a cheeseburger and some fries? <gasps> this is the Chateau Blanc, sir. We do not serve cheeseburgers. Yeah. But I'm the customer, and I want a cheeseburger. But I'm afraid, sir. Make that, too. There you are. You're not going to turn down the lady's request, are you? Two cheeseburgers, au fromage, and the fries au French. Thank you very oh. much. Are you always like this? Why, Miss Noble? <laughs> I look at life much in the same way that I look at education. Well, that is to say that every student is in some ways a half full glass of water. Well, we can either dump it out on the sidewalk and let it trickle into the gutter of life, or fill it up from the river of knowledge, let it flow into an ocean of possibilities. And I'd rather fill and flow than dump and trickle. <laughs> I must say you are unlike any man I have ever met. <laughs> How can she laugh at a time like this? I always thought that helping people realize their full potential was the best thing you could do, and that teaching was a way to do that. But it always seems like the system's working against us. At least, it seemed like that until you arrived at Wortman High. Would you care for the final fry? <laughs> well, now that we've broken burgers together, it's about time that we stop calling each other Mr. Forndexter and Miss Noble. All right. Harold, tell me something. How does such a young man become the principal of a high school? Ah, you don't want to hear about that. It's boring. Let's talk about you. I understand you're about to be married. I, I thought this was going to be strictly business, Harold. I, I thought we were going to be discussing school matters. You are engaged to one of the staff, aren't you? Yes. Well, then we're talking about school matters. I suppose you could say that. I know it's none of my business, but the welfare of my staff concerns me. And it's just that you seem so awfully young to be getting married. Although age isn't so important, is it? As long as you're sure you're marrying the right person. But then again, I'm sure that Roy Kelton is a fine man. Open-minded, sensitive, kind, optimistic, gentle. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm sure he is. You're right. I'm sorry I even brought it up. I don't know what I was thinking of. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Mr. 
Oh, boy. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Let me get this one. Sorry, I must have left my cards in my other wallet. It's okay. You can get the next one. My dog ran in there, but he, uh, he didn't, so uh, I'm going to look someplace else for him. My, my dog. <laughs> that was fun. How'd I do? Great. Next time, I'll show you how to park on the sidewalk. <laughs> I really had a good time tonight, Harold. Thank you. I had a wonderful time. We'll have to do it again. Well, um, I'd better go inside. School tomorrow, you know. <laughs> right, right. Well, I, you don't want to be late. Could get you in trouble with the principal. Oh, I, um... I wouldn't want to get in trouble with the, uh... Oh, Harold, I don't think that's such a good idea. Oh, right, sure, sorry. I, I thought you had something in your eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, that can be a problem around here, you know. The dust kicks up and gets into everything. The dust can be so difficult that way. Well... well <laughs> <laughs> good night. Good night, Harold. Night, Ray. Roy. Well, it's about time you got home. Roy, what are you doing here? We had a date tonight. No, we didn't. Well, we, we could have had a date tonight. Where were you? I don't think that's any of your business, Roy. Hey, we're engaged to be married. I think I have a right to know. Now, where were you? Sounds like you don't trust me. Of course I trust you. I just want to know why you're that foreign Dexter guy at a fancy French restaurant where you picked up the check. You followed us. I don't believe it. Yeah, I followed you. If that guy wasn't the principal of our school, I'll tell you, I'd I'd, I'd jack you. No. Roy? I think you better go. You're acting like a 14-year-old. Peg, I... I think you better go. Well, please let me explain. What Peg? Ah! Friday already? Oh, no. Hey, wake up. Peggy. Wake up. Oh, hi, Lloydo. What's happening? What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. I can't get the growth accelerator to reverse. And your parents get back in two days. When they find out you're 30 years old, they'll have heart attacks and die. Other than that, everything's just fine. How's it going with you? Wonderful. Excellent. Outrageous. Exactly according to plan. <laughs> Wonderful. Outrageous. You, young man, the O'Neills aren't home. May I help you? I, I don't. I don't think so. I, I was just uh, uh, selling door to door, and and well, obviously these folks aren't home, so so I can't sell them anything. <laughs> Bye. Well, you want to sell me anything? Oh, I don't think you need what I'm selling. Oh well, what are you selling? Uh. Snail food, yeah, you know, you know, if you got snails. Oh, I didn't know you had to feed them. Oh, poor little things. They're probably dying of starvation. I guess I'd better take some. Well, uh, we, we only have the 55-gallon drink.